What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special vid, man. It is May 20th as we speak, one month away from summer. However, I'm already calling it summer now. Pool week is in full. Oh, I just hit my hand, man. Pool week is in full effect. I'm about to get in that pool. I've already been in it, but I'm about to be in that pool all week long. But with that being said, summer is in full effect. I want to bring to you guys my top five summer sneakers of 2021. Top five sneakers that I've picked up this year in 2021 that I'm going to be rocking all summer. I also got some other videos coming to you guys in the next couple of days or weeks of just more things within the collection. There's more shoes that are dropping, more panties that are popping. So keep on copping. If you guys are loving the show, go check out my secondary channel. Too wild for TV because we keep it popping with the live streams, with the videos. It's uncut and raw over there. And it's, uh, it's just all fun, man. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Manscaped. This is a big Guys, one. man, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Man, you know I've been rocking out with Manscaped for a minute now and I love their products. From the performance package to the perfect package, I have tried it all. I've loved it all. But the main thing that this separates Manscaped from all the others, to ma that makes them the best male grooming kit out there, is their one-of-a-kind lawnmower. We have here the Lawnmower 3.0. We've tried the one, the two, the three, and it has went through many battles, many jungles with me. And time after time, it's always been successful. But like they say, man, out with the old in with the new. Still a beloved piece of art. But if we have the 3.0 and you love it, let me show you something new. And that is the lawnmower 4.0. Shout out to Manscaped for sending this over to your boy, man. We have here the Lawnmower 4.0, and I am one of the first people to get this to show it to you guys today. And let's just check this bad boy out. <laughs> Look at that state of the art craftsmanship right there. Lawnmower 4.0 is in full effect, it's available now. Check out the link down below in my description and get 20% off on your order plus free shipping when checking out the Lawnmower 4.0. And there's a couple new features that comes with this actual kit. One off the rip is their wireless charging function now. There's no more clipping in and locking into place. It's simply just drop in and bam, wireless charging now featured on the Lawnmower 4.0. You have a beautiful two-tone finish, still wireless, still waterproof, still has the same skin safe technology with ceramic blades for no nicks, no nags on the ball sack. You feel me? A1 steak sauce. And a lot of you guys may already have the 3.0 and wonder why, you know, why do I need the 4.0? Let, let me tell you a couple of the upgrades that come with that 4.0. Off the rip, as stated before, wireless charging. You also have now a new three bar indicator telling you how much battery you got left. A full charge will give you 90 minutes of use. If you got 90 minutes of hair down there, you must be a bear, bro. Hair, bear, yeah, I, 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 it just rhymes, I know. But yeah, if you, got, if you got to use 90 minutes, bro, Jesus, Lord help you. One of the things I like a lot that I've had had problems in the past with is their new locking system. One, two, three, and bam. You can now lock it and it will not cut on, look. It will not cut on. So you can actually lock it by just tapping on the power button three times. I did it to lock it. Now one, two, three, and now it's coming back and back in business. So it's a great thing for you guys out there that like to travel and keep yourself clean in between. And one thing that I definitely love that they upgraded here is giving you guard trimmers. It comes with guard trimmers to let you guys know how much you might not want to go all the way down to bare skin trimmy trim. You might want to give yourself a fade, give yourself a buzz cut. Hey man, that's for you to decide at the end of the day, but now you have the options with the guards. And some of you guys may or may not know, but these blades are replaceable. You can actually just easily, when they get dull, pop them out, get a new one, put it back in, it's good to go. Check out the peak hygiene plan over on Manscaped. They offer one month, two months, three months, and six months. And each of these are $14 on every shipment. 
or you could just do one-time purchases, which are $20. And also with the Peak Hygiene Plan, you also get a platinum warranty. So if this ever breaks, or even the Weed Whacker, if you have a Weed Whacker or one of these and it ever breaks, Manscaped will send you a brand new one for free. So guys, if you haven't already, man, join with the 2 million other men out there worldwide that trust in Manscaped. Trust me, just give it a shot. Your balls will definitely thank you and your lady will too. This trimmy trim trim, bro. That's all I got to say. All right, use the code down below and get 20% off on your order plus free shipping and plus free international shipping as well. And let me know, man. Don't thank me. Thank your balls. All right, I'm out. You shot the manscape as always. Love you guys. All right, guys, let's get to it. Now, listen, there's a lot of shoes on this list that definitely are coming out would would, would replace some of these on here. The thing is, is that we're doing stuff that I've already picked up. Coming at number five, we have the Reebok Answer 4. Answer retailed at $120 and released recently this year. The quality, the materials, everything is A1 steak sauce. And it's a low top shoe, great for summertime. You're gonna see some high top shoes in here. I love low tops, I love mids, I love highs. I ain't gonna lie to you though, I really rock highs throughout the whole entire year. But this is definitely a shoe that I can get jiggy with that's on the low top end that gives good quality, has a good look. This is some barbecue stuff, man. This is the shoe I wanna rock when I'm on the grill. Even though I need to watch out, make sure I ain't get no stains on it. Quality is immaculate low top model comfortable a1 classic and just nostalgic at the same time look at it man the reebok answer for now these should still be available to get right now they're sitting over on jd sports for 130 dollars you can get an eight eight and a half nine and a half they got a couple sizes on stock x it's it's a nostalgic beautiful shoe with good quality yeah they're going for 130 size 12 going for 175 so big size is a little bit up but not too much definitely a shoe that it's, it's worth getting if you're a huge AI fan. It's something that you, it's almost a requirement at this point. You know what I'm saying? Let me just call D-Money real quick and see what D-Money says. D-Money loves AI, like, like just insane. And like also guys, you guys know me pretty well. Like I love crew socks. I love like high socks with a little bit of, you know. You know, I like to rock like crew. I'm, I'm wearing pajamas right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. I like to rock crew socks and not always up pulled up i don't play them I, I, you know like i like a little bit of that scrunch the nike sock with the scrunch on it but with these in particular i think i can definitely go with no shows to ankle socks when it comes to these it just has a low top look that looks good i don't see pull like i, I don't see like rocking crew socks or anything with these at all you know what i'm saying like nah you gotta rock the low top socks the crew socks with them to make these things pop and forgive me yeah i got dog here you know what i'm saying i got child and stuff and these are some throwaway socks. Don't worry, man. My sock game's coming on point. Salute to Bombas. Coming soon. You'll see what I'm talking about. I had to put this one on the list at number five. The Reebok Answer 4. 130. Phenomenal price point. You definitely need to add these to the collection if you haven't already. Trust me. Like, these are good to go. Summertime. Barbecue. Your uncle. You know your uncle used to rock these back in the day, right? Your, your uncle was rocking these when he was on the grill. You went to your uncle's house. Your uncle, your uncle Earl or something, you know what I'm saying? He was on the grill throwing it down, got that chicken on deck, you know, barbecue chicken, barbecue, whatever, man. You just had a good time. Uncle Earl was rocking those, okay? And he probably had a jersey on backwards, who knows? Coming in at number four, these have been a classic to me. I've rocked them for, for many years. Happy to have them back. And these are definitely just a banger. A little bit off though, because they're, they're high tops. That is the Adidas Form High 84 Orbit Gray. We have here the Adidas 84 High in the Orbit Gray colorway, which is kind of like a vintage cream type of color, not all white out. So it has like a vintage type of look going for it. This is definitely, ha this definitely has to be Adidas comparison or competition to the 85 High of the Jordan 1. Now, unfortunately, these will not be up to par of what a Jordan 1 is to a Form High. Now, I love the Form High. I love them a lot. A lot of iconic basketball players rock these shoes. And I'm pretty sure at one point in time, these were probably more 
hype than the Jordan ones when the Jordan one. I, I, I mean, just I'm just guessing because I mean I think Magic Johnson was somebody was rocking these. Let's just let's just take a look. Okay, so I'm looking right now. <laughs> so there was a Jordan that dropped called the I mean Adidas that dropped called the 80 Adidas Form 84 High White Blue, and it was actually. Uh, it was actually the shoe that Michael Jordan wore. Jordan wore them on the USA basketball team. Speaking of Adidas form high, so Jordan wore them on the basketball team. I'm seeing a picture of Kobe rocking the Adidas form 2000s. So they've been on a lot of greats. Bro, I'm looking on the internet right now and I can't find any other play. It is Jordan, bro. All it is is Jordan rocking these shoes. Like what the hell? I swear I thought like Magic or someone else. Well, I know Magic was with Converse. But I swear I thought I saw Magic rocking these at one point in time and a couple of other players rocking these forms at one point in time. I didn't buy the shoes because of the basketball players rocking them. I bought them because that's what I could afford back when I was in college. And they were going for around 90 bucks. And I got them in the low top Knicks colorway. Now I'm able to get as many as I want and I love them. I wasn't born in 1984. In 1984, I was swimming in my daddy's nutsack. So I'm not trying to sit here and give you a pet peeve history lesson on the 84 high. I just know that it's a iconic it's an old school model, and apparently now I know that Jordan wore them on the USA basketball team, and I'm guessing in 1984 before he signed with Jordan and or Nike and created the Jordan One in '85. So, hey, a little history lesson that I learned myself. These are quality material, quality shoe. I think the retail is like 120, 110 or something. You get the bang for the buck when it comes to these. They fit immaculate. They fit comfortable for the most part. They are an old school type of shoe, and um, you see in here it says uppers leather, rubber. So high quality good quality leather that i'm in my opinion used on this whole entire shoe with some suede and definitely something you can put on and rock man you know what i'm saying with the strap without it it looks good man it's, it sits good with the right pair of pants and i'm happy that adidas is jumping into the nostalgia reebok already did it adidas is now doing it nike's been doing it um puma's kind of puma's been going the route more so of old but combining it with new so they're doing old models and then innovating it into something brand new you know what i'm saying so salutes to them on that they have been dropping like the clyde and stuff some older models on that but i've seen them kind of going with the old but then bringing it into the new so kind of taking old parts and pieces and then bringing them into newer models which is dope as well so salutes to puma but these are a dope pair of kicks um 84 highs are on adidas right now for a hundred dollars 120 dollars i'm looking at just different prices right now as we speak and i'm gonna look and see how much this specific one goes for right now this one right now is on eBay for, oh, they got it on StockX for 125 right now. So the retail is 140. So I could have got this shoe for below retail. Yeah, eight and a half is 144, nine is 125, nine and a half, 120. If you wear a size 12, you get it for 160. So around retail still on this shoe. And in my opinion, it's clean, bro. Coming in at number three now, guys, the three, two, one in this combo can really go in each and any way you want possible. This is a new pickup that I have yet to even really rock, but it's it's beautiful. That is the Jordan 11 Low. Whew, it's too bright. Legend Blue. So we have the Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue that recently released. A this month, I think it got pushed back like three, four times. We did the review on it. This is a part of the 25th anniversary of the Jordan 11 model. They said if it's the Jordan 11 model or the actual colorway of the Legend Blue, as you can know, it's a 25th on the inside, 23 on the back, however. So real cool, all white, baby, you know, baby blue hints on the bottom, baby blue hints on the, on the third row. Low top, 11, beautiful time for spring and summer, all white affair. Um, Cocaine Cowboys right there in full effect, man. So you really can't go wrong with this. I'm happy to add this one to the collection. I do got the high top model. I would wear this one over the high top model, at least in the summertime. And I have yet to rock the Legend Blue that I bought a while back. Salutes to Mike Rich. I got those for um for a discount price point. So these are awesome. Let's see what they're going for right now on StockX. Let's just check it out. And like I've always said, guys, we're not checking these prices for you to go and sell it. We're not sellers here. We're buyers. Now, do I sell sneakers here and there? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You can sell some shoes. I'm not telling you not to sell, but we're not here to hype it up and go get them, man. They're hyped. They're going for three, four, five hundred. I'm showing you this shoe because you might be like, damn, that is a dope shoe. I like. My, I might want to get that shoe. Let me know how where I can get it from, if it's available. Right now, StockX, these are going for 
and thirty-five dollars. Retail was one eighty-five, so they're going for a little bit more. Um, up to size twelve, you got two thirty. So you're gonna be paying a little bit of a, a little bit of tax on top of that. But it's dope. Is it worth two hundred and thirty-five, two fifty? Damn near. Nah, I'm not gonna tell you to go and pop that price off. I'm sorry. Two hundred, two twenty, probably the max, and that's about it for these, in my opinion. I like them, but I can pass. I can move on. You know what I'm saying? These are dope though, but. I can pass. Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue though. Banger for the buck at number three for the summer sneaker. All right. You know we couldn't end this thing off without getting a Jordan 1 in the category. And with that being said, Jordan 1 UNC University Blue. Jordan 1, University Blue, Jordan 1, UNC, whatever you want to call it. I had to put this one to the list. As much as the quality is not the best, you know, it's not bad quality, but it came, it came bad for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Some people had a lot of marks. I had a mark on mine. I don't know where it's at. It might be on the other shoe. It did come with some fabulous colors once again. We're in spring, we're in summer, baby blue is popping. I'm a little bit out of breath. I just ran up and down the stairs between that Jordan 11 shoe, had to run downstairs, had to run back up. But we have the Jordan 1 University Blue. These released recently. I'm pretty sure these are going for a little bit more now. Let's see how much these are going for. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure these things are in the 300s, if, in, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? These actually were doing crazy numbers at first. $445, and uh, size 8.5, 380. So yeah, they're up in the 400s. The Jordan 1 University Blue, great colorway, good spring, good summertime shoe. Very delicate if you ask me though. This material is very, very susceptible to staining and things being dropped and just ruining it. And it's not an easy type of material to clean, but you can use, however, pure sneaker cleaner. So yeah, man, overall the quality material, the color, everything is there, just the price is a little bit crazy now at this point. But I had to add this one to the list because I really loved it and I want to wear it more. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really rocked them at all, in all honesty, because it just hasn't felt like it's that time yet, but it's about that time. It's about that time now, eight and a half is the size and I am looking forward to putting these bad boys on, shorts, pants, it don't matter whether it's a high top or not, these pop and these make the panties drop. However, it is number two because number one is the banger for the buck. And I've told this when I actually, when I was actually holding the shoe, I think I even said myself that the shoe that I was holding at number one was gonna be one of my favorite shoes that was gonna make the top 10 list of just sneakers, pickups, releases, shoes of the year, whatever, it's gonna definitely be on that 10 list, in my opinion. It's, it's one of my favorite pickups so far. So let's go ahead and get into number one. Coming in at number one, guys. Whoa, almost dropped, you see it. And that is the Jordan 4 UNC. So look, man, I know, man, I know. You got tons of Jordans, three, what? Three Jordans, one Adidas, and one Reebok. Jordan is just killing it right now, bro. I haven't picked up any Yeezys. I did pick up the Carbons, I think, this year, but they're black. That's more so of a fall time sneaker, in my opinion. The Reebok, I did get a couple of question lows. I actually, damn, I, wait. Do I have it? Hold on. Yo, I can't find it, hold on. But I do wanna give you a huge shout out to my brother, man, too. I'm gonna show this off as well. Let's throw a little bit in here. I'm gonna show that, and I'm gonna show a clip of the questions downstairs. Salute to my brother Kai Omar, man. This is the Dream Crew EP episode one. You are in Kai Omar's friends and family list. I am a good friend, but I'm a horrible friend right now because I should have been shown these bad boys off. I got these in a couple like last week or two. I just, they've been, I've been so tied up. But this is Kai Omar's brand new sneaker. He already has another shoe that dropped recently, and he's dropping another one, I believe, with this brand coming very, very soon. Now, comes with an extra pair of laces. We'll definitely throw these bad boys on for a picture in the future. Salutes to him and salutes to Kais, man. Once again, just being able to expand and continue that thing, keeping it popping, keeping the dream alive. And, you know, when you create your own sneaker, it's a big deal. Regardless if, regardless if you might not like the shoe or you do like the shoe, 
it's a big thing for friends out there. I like the shoe, I don't have no problem with it. I actually saw the shoe, I actually gave some input to Kais when he asked me about colors and all that. And I like it, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it has a designer type of look to it. Him and Seth both have sent me their pairs out and I've loved and appreciated both of them. So huge shout out to Kais on that and salutes to him. And I think he just dropped the video on his new chapter in his YouTube career. So I need to go check that out. You guys go check that out ASAP Rocky. All right, here is the kick right here. These are the Reebok Question Low Green Toe. All leathered out quality immaculate. Nice. Huge shout out to Reebok for ooping these. And these are definitely something you to toss in, you know, on some summer kicks. These alongside with the wheat pair that I own as well that I've posted on IG. Huge shout out to Reebok. So this is my brother, John. Number one, we have the Jordan 1 UNC and A1 Steak Sauce. The color says it all. I know we got tons of Jordans, but Jordan's just killing it right now. The colorway, phenomenal. Materials, phenomenal. It's definitely a shoe that I feel like I can kind of rock a lot and not to worry about it getting dirty. That suede is very delicate, but it is something that has a little bit more of a fluff to it that I feel like I can get some pure in there and get it nice and clean and get those type of damages that we do get in the shoe out. So I'm not really worried about it. Overall, this shoe right now is going for, let's see. This shoe was well, well sought after. Like everybody wanted it, but it, 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 I didn't feel like it was like a, I don't know, I, I didn't see many people that took L's on this shoe. Now I'm saying that now, you're probably looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about, Tony? Shut your ass up, I took an L. My apologies, this thing's going for around 300, 300, 350 on the resale on all sizes. But it seemed like a lot of people got their hands on this at the same time. I don't know, I can't say, I gotta actually think about that. I gotta, think what, I gotta watch what I'm saying right now, cause I didn't see many people like, I see a lot of people with this shoe. Now, whether they paid resale, that's on them. But I felt like a lot of people was able to get their hands on this compared to like the Jordan 1 University Blue, like the Jordan 1 that was before it, or even Legend Blue. I don't know, I didn't see that many people like, I didn't see many people mad about this shoe or mad about that shoe. People were pissed off about mochas. People were pissed off about the uh, the University Blues. They were mad about those because they took the L, they missed out on it. This shoe, I feel like a lot of people were able to get the pairs that really, really wanted them. So with that being said, I could be, you know, I could be completely wrong, man. Like, you know, I got them early. Uh, huge shout out to Soul Play for getting the review out to you guys. So I do want to always stay tuned to what is going on out here because at the end of the day, everything is raffle. So everything's not even your own hustle at this point. It's not about you waking up and going in line and going to get yours. It's about you waking up to go put a ticket in or click a thing on the app. And that part, it sucks. I'm, I'm ready for the grind. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to, I'm ready to, I'm ready for the grind so more people can go out there and actually get it and put the work in instead of sitting behind a bot and pressing a button and letting that shit flood the app and then just taking every goddamn pair. But overall, the shoe itself, phenomenal. Definitely something I'm gonna be rocking. Um, no ankle socks, crew socks, mid socks, whatever it is, this shoe can just rock it all. Um, white tee, I don't need to do, I don't need the baby blue effect or nothing. Gray shorts, white shorts, any type of shorts, black shorts, white t-shirt and these bad boys on and I'm good to go. I mean, university, UNC, whatever you want to call it, Jordan 4, Magnificent. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that like button, go and subscribe to Two Wild for TV and let me know what you guys think, man. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.